name is Eric Garcia. I'm a second year master's student from the School of Information where I'm specializing in human-computer interaction, which is basically a mix of computer science, psychology, design, and some other good stuff. So for the past two years I've been um, programming websites and lately for the iPhone. and It's, it's really a lot of fun. And um, this past summer I started a company called Finagle with three other students from my school. We do location-based war games. Um, so our first game is called um, Outward and it's, it's a location-based version of Scrabble, pretty much. So instead of grabbing letters from a bag like you would in Scrabble, you actually have to walk around Ann Arbor or anywhere in the world and pick up virtual letters. And once you do that, you can spell out words for points. I'll open it up. And it zooms in wherever you are in the world. So it uses GPS or cell phone triangulation to fi find out where you are in the physical world. Um, and you'll see here that we happen to be in Mountain View at the Googleplex. Um, for this demonstration. And uh, I have some letters around me and I can pick up this N, um, I can pick up the E and W to spell new. Or how about Newt? That's cool. Um, so I just drag them down to the placeholders and then I press submit and then I get points. So I made it to my meeting uh, to Tech Arb. I'm winded from the stairs. But the Tech Arb is basically a student business incubator and my company Finagle is part of it. It's university funded, it's a collaborative space, and it's a great way for student companies to bounce ideas off each other. So let's check it out. <laughs> so I made it to the tech car. There's Jeremy, another co-founder. Howdy. We're gonna have a meeting now, so goodbye. So I just woke up, and one of the cool things about going to Michigan, at least in the winter, is that you can wake up, um, and there's tons of snow on the ground. Um, so if you'll see on my window, uh, yeah. So a cool thing about being an information student is that we have a lot of access to all of the schools on campus. So for example, if you have um, interest in business, you can take classes in the B school. Um, me, I've been doing iPhone games that are location based, so I got interested in um, the technology behind the iPhone. How does the GPS work? How does it get the coordinates? So I've been taking a class in the School of Natural Resources called Geographic Information Systems. And basically it's an introduction to how GPS works, how maps are made. So it's really cool. Let's check it out. That will do this kind of orthorectification as you go.